I am Mark Limbauer, and I am from Hannibal, Missouri. We are a family operation. We're a multi-generational operation. So in addition to myself, my brother, my wife, my father are all here on the farm full time. My dad and, and his, it'd be my grandpa had been on this farm here. And with the boys taking over, that's the third generation and we'll see from there. <laughs> we are, are a very diversified operation. Um, we have row crops consisting of corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, we also grow a lot of forages for our cows. I'm Amy Limbauer. My role on our family farm is a manager of the operations of the livestock side of the business. So the principle of sustainability is very important on our operation. So everything from land stewardship, but also the family legacy and the legacy of agriculture to continue really beyond our generation, even my children's generation for the future is really important um, to our operation. It's not not just one piece of the puzzle uh, on soil health. It's 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 a combination of community and environmental and family and you know being here for the long haul. Innovation is another core principle um, to our farm. I like to say we were doing cover crops before cover crops were cool. It's really seen benefits on more than one level of our operation. Um, it's not just helping the road crop, not just helping the livestock, it's helping uh, a lot of different facets of our operation. Because we're using that as um, not just a cover crop for soil health reasons, but we're also using it as a feed source for our livestock operation, and that contributes to the overall profitability and diversity strategy of our Farm. They, they kind of maybe uh, uh, panic a little bit when I say, well, I've been thinking because like we do get, uh, a, we've tried some pretty far out things over time. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, the, the best ones are uh, when Mark calls and says, you're not going to like this, but um, you, you, you know that he's really been thinking about something and uh, um, you know, it, it's, it's good that we all, we all have the ability to be open thinkers and to bounce things off of each other. I, I've seen a lot of other farms that have progressed or, or, or survived the time because of uh, they hadn't let the, the younger generation come and, uh, and do things and try ideas and, and stuff like that. And so my dad was very open about it. And, and let me try things. Some worked, some didn't. And I, I was too. Everybody on our farm, they're very helpful and I've learned a lot and I basically know how to do half the stuff on this farm. So like it, it, there's so much knowledge and also like when you get older, if you want to be a farmer, like all of this is here so, so you can do it. And it's a very good thing to learn all this stuff when you're young. Innovation, sustainability are important, but it still has to be profitable, right? Purchasing the equipment that really makes sense from a profitability and efficiency perspective makes us more money and makes us more profitable in the end, not just purchasing the cheapest tractor. Yeah, I mean, we have the numbers. We're getting close to 10 years of like a very detailed cost analysis. I can tell you that in general, the fence have been the cheapest tractor to maintain and operate that we've owned on this farm. The first vent tractor we bought was a uh, 1050 and then um, after that we followed it up with a uh, 714 tractor and, uh, and loader. We purchased a 828 tractor a couple of years later and our latest tractor is a 942 and we purchased it along with a uh, Fent Momentum uh, planner. When you compare a Fent tractor to other brands, um, you're more efficient day in and day out. You're not as fatigued um, and you get more done. Um, you get across more acres and you burn, burn less fuel uh, getting it done. The big factor was when they bought their original tractor was the service part of it. The three year warranty that they were looking for because they do put a lot of hours on their tractors and they, they use them. The Gold Star warranty was just, uh, was just phenomenal. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure we haven't had to pay even like a dollar in repairs because of all of that because of all the warranty and everything so we try to take as many unknowns out as we can and being able to take that warranty and know that we basically just need to put fuel and def in the tractor 
and uh, and that's all we need to do um, is just phenomenal. You know, the momentum planter, we were able to change the way we plant even. We was able to go to more efficient method of planting instead of having to uh, get that planter uh, maneuvered around onto the terrace just right. The seed placement was just astonishing. Every single place that the planter went, it was putting seed in the ground at the proper depth and we had we had proper emergence. From what we've seen with the FENT, it's a, it's a continuity between the OEM and the dealer um, to, the, uh, to the owner and the operator to, that everybody's on the same page that we wanna have the uptime. We wanna, you know, we need to keep these machines in the field and keep them running um, because that's how they pay for themselves. So we have to really look at it from a holistic point of view. Is something innovative? Is it profitable? And then also, is it sustainable for the long term for our future, not just of our farm, but really our communities, our um, industry of agriculture?